still waiting to see if Devin shows up. Um, he's supposed to do a giveaway. Um, somehow, despite the fact that I wasn't supposed to MC this, I got I got roped into it, as John said, um, because I went ahead and said because uh, I was here and because I my name was on a list. Never let your name get on a list. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So yeah, you can see I have my my photo ID here. <laughs> yeah, people say, well, wait, wait, wait. Hold that photo up. Photo ID. There's no beard, and uh, that's because I didn't have a beard when I took this picture. For those of you who can't see, I'm busy. My talk today is. Sorry, it's it's, it's coming up. All right. Well, that's okay. It is. The FSP Telethon. That's right. Let's hear it. The FSP Telethon. We're here to raise signers for the FSP. The FSP does so many good things in this state. Let's hear it for the FSP. So one of the things the FSP does is we put videographers to work. That's right, we create events for videographers. No, it's a little known fact, but there is a disease that videographers do suffer from. It's small camera-itis. I know you've all seen it. Our mascot, Dave Ridley, suffers from it. So if he comes up real close to your face and puts his camera right there, it's because the camera he has is too small. We need to raise money to buy bigger cameras for Dave Ridley. Yeah. So, all right, this is the FSP telephone. Let's go take a look at the. Let's go take a look at the leaderboard. We have 901, 9,121 participants. We're going to keep checking back on that leaderboard as we talk and see if we can bring that up some. <laughs> but uh, small cameraitis is, in fact, not the only problem that uh, this state and many other states suffer from. Um, as many of you are aware, probably one of the biggest problems we have in this country is electile dysfunction. <laughs> electile dysfunction, we have lots and lots of people who suffer from this. Um, in fact, it's, it's so bad in this country at this point that in an attempt to solve electile dysfunction, it's a little kinky, but they brought a black man into the White House in the hopes of maybe some change, maybe some hope. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I think we've got a, I think we've got a guest caller coming in here. Um, hold on a second. Let's see. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. I feel your pain. I don't suffer from erectile dysfunction myself. My 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 good friend Al Gore. He did suffer from it. And, and my wife, she definitely suffers from it. <laughs> so what are we doing in, the, in this state to help with electile dysfunction? Well, we, we're working with, with both parties, um, despite the fact that they don't want us to. Uh, <laughs> we're also really trying to help the Libertarian Party, um, despite its best efforts. <laughs> Um, we're trying to raise money for lots and lots of good causes, um, most of which don't take silver, but we're, we're still trying to get them to take silver. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it's important to keep a sense of humor, as, as you can tell. Let's go back to the leaderboard. And we're still at 9,121, but we're doing something about it. We're making individual phone calls. We're, we're sending out emails to people who are willing to give us their name and phone number, which are not many people, unfortunately, because they like their right to privacy. Um, I, you know, I'm joking here, but uh, I, I need to get serious for a second and talk about the fact that um, we really do take it seriously about getting people to, to move to this state. Um, those of us who, who moved here in the last four years um, for almost five years now, really make it our number one focus. Uh, you'll find people who will answer any of your questions. You'll find people who will attempt to give you the real honest truth about what it's like here. And now I'm going to tell you the real truth. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> That's right. Um, as uh, as our, our fine president, Varen Swearing, you know, I don't know how many of you know that Varen was on TV. Did you see a little show called Deadwood? 
he, he, was on, he was on that show. He swore up and down. He's not like that in person, I swear. I swear. Unless you get him drunk. And then, oh, the guy has a mouth on him, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> um, we... <laughs> That's what she said. No, wait a minute. <laughs> um, it, it's really a lot of fun being involved in, in all the projects that go on. Um, I mean, it seems like every time you turn around, people are asking you to do stuff, and, and suddenly there's like 17 people who have organized organizations which depend on you to do everything. Um, we need more people, and, and that's not a joke. We really do. So if you're, if you're thinking about moving, and you're wondering what it would be like to live here in New Hampshire. A lot of it, it is like the Liberty Forum all the time. I mean, we have Murphy's Tap Room, where you can pay to get drunk. And we have move-in parties, where you can move stuff and get drunk. Get drunk. <laughs> and we have Dave Minson, who just gets drunk. Uh, <laughs> free hugs from Dave. <laughs> That's right, free hugs. Free hugs, even if you don't want them. Uh, <laughs> we have, uh, we, 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 we do a lot of outreach. We, we mostly outreach on Facebook. Um, uh, poking is not an act of aggression. Let's be really clear on that. Uh, although I, there are people who have a zero poke policy. Um, <laughs> I poke for freedom. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I guess I have to, since Chris is here, I've got to go ahead and point out that, that Chris um, is, his wife is long-suffering. Uh, he went ahead and devoted himself to the Ron Paul campaign like nobody's business, and he basically ended up with a whole lot of t-shirts. And, and every time he turned around, he was trying to sell t-shirts, and, and he's still trying to sell t-shirts. And what, what people won't tell you is the whole idea of the Liberty Forum was basically about selling t-shirts. <laughs> um, it, it is a lot of fun though, and uh, I have to say, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do some comedy here, but um, I couldn't do it all without my wife, and she makes it possible for me to actually get involved in things. And um, it, it's pretty funny because I get involved in the forums, I get involved in all this stuff and uh, throw a big fit sometimes, and people go, oh, God, Seth, you know, just, how, how can she put up with you? And the answer is, well, she does. And everybody she else... She's like is what we always say about Seth. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And usually they're like, oh, oh, when are we going to see Chris? And, I'm, and it's like, no, well, we don't actually care about seeing you, Seth. We just want to see Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm tolerated a whole lot because of, of my lovely wife, so... Um, Thank you, in public, in front of everybody. Thank you for helping us to make the move here. Almost four years, five years ago now, we're moving, we moved in October of 04. Um, we moved when almost nobody had moved. We came out and Cal Pratt and his wife were the only, well, there are a couple other movers who, who actually have since left. But that had nothing to do with the Free State Project, honestly. They, they had other life things going on and, and we were all like, okay, we're sorry to lose you. Um, but. It, basically, the numbers keep growing, and it's really cool, and I, I think we're making history here, and uh, it's important to keep a sense of humor about it, because some days, you know, it seems like things like HR6 happen, and we go, oh, well, you know, how much progress are we making? But when you're here for the long term, you do see that things are getting better, and um, I hope to see all of you here in the long term, years from now, and you'll be able to say, oh, yeah, I remember when Seth did the comedy, and boy, that wasn't funny. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Um, and Chris is saying we got time for one more, so if somebody wants to come on up. All right, and you got six minutes. <laughs>